guys are not going to believe what Jacob Zuma's daughter has been accused of doing? Well, uh, if you're stopping for the very first time, you're so welcome to our YouTube channel. And like we earlier said, we're going to be diving into a recent controversy that has shaken the South African political landscape. Well, Jacob Zuma's daughter, Duduzule Zuma, uh, who is actually a new member of parliament, actually posted a provocative message on X, formerly known as Twitter. Well, her comments about former president Thabo Mbeki and the ANC actually started a very heated debate online. Well, we are going to break down this particular incident and of course provide historical context and of course analyze the broader implications for South African politics. Well, uh, the controversy actually began when Duduzule Zuma shared a screenshot of a Times Live story about former President Thabo Mbeki on X. Well, the story suggested that Mbeki had challenged ANC members to improve their critical thinking skills. The Duzule Zuma's response was sharp and critical. In quotes, she said, So when did he realize that? Before or after he campaigned with and for the ANC or Maposa? Well, this post quickly gathered attention and of course it sparked a lot of reactions and responses online. Well, among the replies was a pointed comment from an X user named Nelly Siwe. Well, this caption was something like, You are a member of a parliament now, representing the people who voted for you. However, it seems like you don't know your responsibilities, as you are still invested in stalking ANC people. You are going to receive your first salary by just sitting doing nothing in parliament. Well, what do you think about Duduzule Zuma's comments on Tabo Mbeki? Do you believe she should focus more on her parliamentary duties? Well, to better understand the significance of this controversy, we need to look at the historical context. Well, Duduzule Zuma is a daughter of Jacob Zuma, whose presidency was filled with numerous scandals and controversies. Her entry into parliament has attracted significant attention due to her father's legacy and her vocal presence on social media. Or Thabo Mbeki, who served as South Africa's president before Jacob Zuma, has been a prominent figure in the ANC and South African politics in general. Well, his comments on the need for critical thinking within the ANC highlights ongoing concerns about the party's direction and leadership. While critics argue that Duduzule needs to focus more on her parliamentary duties rather than engaging in political commentary online. Or well, as a new member of parliament, she has a responsibility to represent the people who voted for her. The criticism from Nelly Siwe underscores the expectations placed on public representatives to prioritize their official duties. While well, supporters of this lady might argue that her outspoken nature is necessary to challenge the status quo. While well, they may believe that holding powerful figures accountable even on social media is part of her role as a public servant. But do you think that elected officials should be more careful with their social media presence or is it an effective way to engage the public and hold others accountable? Well, the incident raises important questions about the role of social media in modern politics. On one hand, social media allows politicians to engage directly with the public, promoting transparency and accountability. But on the other hand, it can lead to distractions and controversies that detract from their official responsibilities. While balancing social media presence with parliamentary duties is a challenge for new members of parliament, they must navigate public expectations, personal beliefs, and the demands of their official roles. I mean, how do you think politicians should balance their social media activities with their official duties? What guidelines do you think you should actually follow? What well, Duduzile Zuma's controversy highlights broader issues within South African politics. It also reflects the intense scrutiny faced by public representatives and the high expectations upon them. While her actions, both online and offline, will continue to be closely watched by both supporters and critics. The debate also underscores the challenges faced by new members of parliament in establishing their roles and responsibilities. Well, whether Duzule can rise to the challenge and prove her critics wrong remains to be seen. 
what steps can new members of parliament actually take to effectively fulfill their roles while managing public expectations well in conclusion i strongly feel like the Ruzule zuma social media and of course the controversy has sparked a significant debate about the responsibilities of public representatives well leave your thoughts in the comment section and please do not forget to subscribe and do turn on the bell notification button so you can be the first to get notified stay tuned and stay glued guys Thank <laughs> you.